po kayo ng kababayan today. Ako po si Chitonji. Nandito tayo sa The Attic in San Mateo. Dito po sa San Francisco in California. Kausap natin si Jose Antonio Vargas. Let's get to know Jose outside of work. Outside of work, yes. Jose, what do you like to do for fun? <laughs> what do I like to watch Beyonce <laughs> music videos? Yay, um, that's a good thing. I, I don't really, I read a lot. I read a lot. I learned writing by reading, mm -hmm. and I learned to be a filmmaker by watching, so that's what mm -hmm. I do a lot. Um, and I now that I'm back in the Bay Area, it's really wonderful to like reconnect with my relatives. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a lot of nieces and nephews. I'm, you know, as a lot of Filipinos, we belong in huge families. So it's really nice to be able to like hang out with like my 18-year-old niece and my 15-year-old nephew, and um, that's been really great. Yeah, so and family... Family is very, very important. Family is very important to you, but Jose, tell us, what does family mean to you? I think it's... I always felt that family is what you create. I mean, there's the family that you're born into, and then there's the family that you create. And I've been really fortunate that I've been able to really have both, right? Um, but my family, my Filipino family, I think for me has always been the reminder of who I am and where I come from. You know, there's a saying in the Philippines of, you know, kung hindi mo alam kung ka, kung saan ka nang galing, kung, galing, hindi mo alam kung, kung you, sino ka, kung sino ka right? Mm -mm. That's, it's really, I'm, I'm forgetting the entire quote, but, you know, I I was born in in Paco. I grew up in Zambales. I'm from a province that we didn't have indoor plumbing. Um, I remember when I was a kid, you know, I'd wake up and I would like pee near the langkat and kalamanse tree outside of the house and I would hear the pigs and I would hear the chick, the the, the roosters and um, everybody was Lola and everybody was Tita and everybody was family. Mm -hmm. So that's where I come from. And so I don't forget what that is. And you know, sometimes when I talk to my nieces and my nephews here in America, I'm like, Ugh, I just, I can't stand spoiled kids. And so, I just try to tell them, do you know, you, know, you understand you're like two generations away from like picking rice in Zambales, mm -hmm. right? Don't you understand where you're from? I think it's important to have that sense of history of who you are. Would you say you're a little estranged from your mother? Being oh, that, you, that. Haven't, you haven't seen her uh, in you know, 21 years. Actually, that's been probably one of the blessings of making documented the film is it's been able to reconnect us, you know, she and I meet on film. You know, I spent six months editing her. Like, and you, you got know, to know her. I got to know, isn't that, I mean, to me that's just the craziest part. It's like, I got to know my mother in a film. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, that makes me wonder though, like, have we spent time actually even getting to know our families and where they're from? Mm. Like, you know, I mean, I actually I have a challenge to Filipino Americans in this country. Like, maybe, you know, spend a few months Filming your family and yeah. interviewing your parents and asking them where they're from and how they got here and mm -mm. you know what America was to them when they were growing up in the Philippines. Yeah. You know, and that that's great advice to be able to talk to your elders oh because God. that's so where you important. learn what you are and who you are in your and where place. Where you come from and where you and the sacrifices that was you know I come from you know my Lola would tell me I think the highest she got was fifth grade. You know she learned to speak English by listening to Ella Fitzgerald and Frank Sinatra songs back in the 50s and 60s in mm -hmm. Zambales. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember when I was young, she would, you know, she would sing, Bewitched, Bothered, and Bewildered. And I was completely <laughs> bewildered by what she was singing. I was like, what is she? You know, my grandmother doesn't, you know, like she understood America and she understood English by like singing, Bewitched, Bothered, and Bewildered. <laughs> what the hell, right? Yeah. I mean, it's like, I just think that's so important, and and to and to to honor. I have the privilege of being able to honor my family by making this film. Absolutely. Right. And I remember when I was a kid, when I first moved to America, I used to be so embarrassed by the way my grandparents spoke Tagalog because they spoke Tagalog and their English was really like broken and choppy. I hated that accent when I was a kid because I was embarrassed by it. Mm. I'm like, why can't they talk like this Pote people? And then when I got older. I was embarrassed for being embarrassed about that, yeah. for being ashamed of it. 
And now what do I do? I put that in film. Yeah. You know? Because it's and endearing. It's not just that, because that's where I'm from. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so to me, this film is everything that I was embarrassed about, everything that I did not want to talk about, mm -hmm. everything that I felt ashamed of, right. I put in film. Yeah. You know? Do you blame your mom for sending you here, for putting you in this predicament that you find yourself in? For years, I blamed her. I think all of my teenage years and practically most of my 20s, I think I, because I didn't understand, I, I didn't understand why they didn't think it through more carefully. I didn't understand the process of it. Mm. Um, you know, how does a mother, how does a parent put a son on a plane and like, okay, I'll see you. I, I didn't appreciate nor respect, nor acknowledge the sacrifice of what that, what, what that meant to her, right? I mean, you know, again, you know, you can be so selfish. I was so, I was focusing on my pain and my own hurt, and I didn't think about hers. Mm, yeah. And that's why the film to me is so cathartic in that way. Yes. Because you see her, and you, you see kind of where she's coming from, and that's why it was important for me to make the film the way we made it. Right. Um, in some way, she kind of walks away with the film, as it should be, mm, right? Mm. Um, and it makes you really wonder, you know, like, do we, we, do we respect and acknowledge and appreciate what our parents did for us? The sacrifice. And, and, it's, and, it's not about, and it's not about being undocumented or documented. It's about, you know, there's something incredibly heroic and courageous about uprooting yourself, mm -hmm. you know, yes. and saying, okay, I'm going to go somewhere where... I can give you a better life. Yeah. Pagbalik natin dito sa kababayan today, kakausapin pa rin natin si Jose. But we're going to be talking about more provoking questions.